A child sex crime investigation that Eyewitness News has been following for weeks has resulted in charges now against an Indianapolis City County Councilman. In fact, Councilman Jeff Miller now faces three counts of child molestation. Our crime beat reporter Steve Jefferson is at the City County Building Live tonight, where Miller has served on the council for many years. Steve, what's the latest? Yeah, Andrea and John, sources tell me late this afternoon, City County Councilman Jeff Miller resigned his seat here at Council Headquarters. I spent part of the day trying to get in contact with him concerning the serious allegations. I've called him, I've texted him, I've emailed him, and even went by his home after reading through some very disturbing allegations in court documents. In this exclusive Eyewitness News video, City County Councilman Jeff Miller left his garage at home without saying a word about facing felony child molestation charges. Any comment, Councilman? Marion County Prosecutor Terry Curry filed three counts against Miller Friday afternoon. Miller lives in the Fountain Square area where two young girls told child interviewers about what they describe in court documents as bad touch. Miller served on the City County Council representing the 16th District after being elected twice. His area included the Fountain Square and Mars Hill neighborhoods. But shortly after the charges, Eyewitness News learned he resigned his council seat. In court documents, a 10-year-old girl told detectives Miller did bad touch to her while alone in the kitchen during a visit to his Fletcher Avenue home. She also said Miller started massaging her and she asked, can you stop? A second girl interviewed by investigators told them Miller has a bin of massage stuff at the house. Eyewitness News tried to get Miller's version of the case against him, but no one answered the door when we knocked. Miller reportedly turned himself in late Friday afternoon. Despite the three felony child molestation charges, some of the people who have worked closely with Miller hope the charges are not true, among them Judith Essex. But I'm here today, Steve, because I just feel like I had to come and say how much the Old South Side and the city of Indianapolis is privileged to have somebody like Councillor Jeff Miller uh, working on our behalf. Yeah, Miller actually turned himself in here at the city county building. You see behind me, this is where he will be booked on those three child molestation felony charges. Uh, he eventually will be released. Now, he will have to formally submit something in writing about resigning his council seat here at council headquarters. Coming up at 6 o'clock, John and Andrea, he himself sat down with investigators during the investigation, will outline what he told investigators about uh, what happened at his home involving these kids that's coming up at six o'clock back to you in the studio all right some disturbing allegations thank you so much steve we'll see you at six